happy Saturday. <laughs> Going to get to play. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. We're starting off a little weekend in my life for you guys. And Delaney and I are going for a nice little morning walk to Chick-fil-A for breakfast. If you guys know Chick-fil-A breakfast, stop serving it. 10.30 and it's like 9.30. So we're just, I don't know, into walks these days as you guys know. So I'm so excited. Gonna get some chicken minis and some hash browns. I just thought it'd be fun to do a little week, weekend oh, of my life. Oh. It is like 36 degrees out, but it feels amazing. It's so very good. refreshing. Athens is so empty right now. Not a car in sight. Everyone's still sleeping. Everyone's still asleep. There's no line. Oh Hallelujah. The goods have been acquired. Happy weekend. Just ate my Chick-fil-A and watched some TV on Netflix. You know, you know. Going to get my life together here making my bed gonna set the vibes right lighting a candle this is like my favorite candle right now it's apothic vetiver um i love the smell of vetiver i really don't know how to explain it um but i love it so much i have it linked in my amazon shop which is linked down below at all times where i have all my amazon favorites also, hi you guys, I'm editing the video right now and I wanted to tell you guys the Dyson Airwrap giveaway winner has been chosen. Her name is Vanessa Hudson. I already messaged her on Instagram. So congrats, Vanessa, and I will be doing another giveaway in the next few weeks. So stay tuned and stay subscribed because I'm gonna post more videos and more giveaways. Here is my little at-home outfit. This awesome, like, cropped um, zip-up is from State of Mind. Love them so much. This is so comfortable. My sweats are from Aritzia. And then I'm wearing my Ugg slippers. About to record a podcast with Brooke um, for our podcast, Gals Me Go. Literally the best thing ever. So listen to it every Wednesday. We're recording the intro and then we're interviewing Kate Bartlett on Monday, which I'm really excited about. Ugh, I literally love Saturdays gonna listen to my new favorite playlist that a lot of you guys have posted on Instagram saying that you got inspired to listen to it and that you love it. You guys are about to witness my first sip of coffee of the day. My favorite part of the day. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna keep listening to this playlist. I'm gonna start filling out my doing well daily for the day. I want today to be a very motivating day, a very inspiring day, a very good day. And I'm not worried that it won't, but that's like the intentions I'm setting. I'm going to drink my coffee. I have an Instagram picture I want to post. And then in 10 minutes, Brooke and I are going to record an episode of Gals in the Cow. And that always puts me in the best mood as well. Let's see what today's quote is. One day or day one, you decide. I love that. Alright, and as we're vlogging. Surprise, you look beautiful, so it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, thank you. I got ready. I have to take some pics. So oh, I did. she's a pic girl. Happy Bring Saturday. Right here. Hello, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. I'm Danielle. Happy Wednesday. Yes, yes, yes. We are caffeinated today. We are ready. Well, actually, I said we. Have you drinking coffee today, Brooke? I'm sure. No, what is it? Tell me the deets. All right, finished recording, then chilled out for a little bit on cup of coffee number two. This is actually one of our merch items, Gals in the Go mug. Oh, this afternoon light is so magical. I am now going to edit my college days in my life. It's kind of a week in my life. Maybe I'll call it that. I don't really know. Um, that I want to go up tomorrow because I post every Sunday and Wednesday. So yeah, I'm going, I imported all that footage, gonna edit this now, and then my reward, if I finish um, soon, is to finish some Bridgerton episodes here, woo! Just finished editing my vlog. Now it is time to finish, I think I'm on episode seven of Bridgerton. I like didn't finish it last night because the episodes are long, which I'm very thankful for. Um, so I'm gonna watch a little bit of that. All right, you guys finished episode seven of Bridgerton. Started doing my makeup, getting ready for dinner. Um, going to dinner with a couple friends, including Daly. 
you guys love her. She's one of my home mates from freshman year. I'm just putting on some earrings. I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. I don't know why I decided to put you guys on a perfume bottle, but that's where we're at right now. This is my go-to nighttime perfume. Anytime I go to dinner or anything of the sorts, this is like what I like to wear at night. Like if it's like a date night with Ryan or whatever. I don't know. I just rose more by Byredo. Um, it's like a musky rose scent and I love it. It's like my nighttime scent. Delaney's always like, that's your nighttime scent. I'm like, yeah. Shoes tonight. We're going for my go-tos. I wear these all the time. I love them. They're so comfortable. They're from ROC Boots. Um, I got them off of Princess Polly. They're so comfortable. So cool. All right, here is tonight's dinner outfit. This little button-up collared shirt is from ASOS. I love it. I've been loving layering necklaces with this. This literally was like $9 from Forever 21. Love it. And then this initial name necklace is from It's Especially Lucky. Earrings are from 60 Stacks. My favorite leggings from Wear Commando or just Commando. And then my boots as I showed you guys before. And then I'm wearing my black puffer coat jacket from A Perry, But it's in the kitchen, so I'm gonna grab that on my way out. This is my bag, I love it. Um, just a little Gucci guy. And yeah, that's kind of the vibe. I'll show you guys my food and everything like that. Sunday, my favorite day of the day, and I just realized I didn't show my food last night, but I got a quesadilla with a side of tots and queso, so lots of cheese was consumed last night. It was delicious, though. I'm headed for a little walk. You guys know I'm into my walks right now. I haven't had my favorite green smoothie since I've been home, or since I've been in Athens, I guess, which is kind of home also. Um, I'm going to go for a little walk to Arden's Garden and get my kale slam smoothie. It's kale mango, pineapple, and then I add pH juice and I add a ginger shot as well and it is chef's kiss, amazing. So I'm gonna have a little main character moment and we're gonna put in the AirPods, this is some good music. Start the day off right, I'm actually not drinking coffee today because I'm going to spin at Fervello and um, I don't know, I don't always like to like have coffee before I work out, it freaks me out. Where's my darling Delaney, hello. I need to roll out my back. I have this thing my mom got for me for Christmas like two years ago, it's the yoga wheel, but it, it kind of acts like a foam roller and it just really opens up your chest and feels really good on your back. Oh, oh my gosh, so much cracking just happened. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. That just felt so good. I made this playlist on Spotify called Magic and it's just got like, very magical songs, if that's a thing, so I'm gonna listen to this. Just got back from my walk to some packages, so I'm gonna do a little haul. The first place is from Serafina Jewelry. I've seen them everywhere on Instagram. They reached out and wanted to send me some cute things. They totally know my style because we all know I love gold. I love this, you guys. This is the Gold Obsessed Herringbone Necklace is what it's called, and it is so perfect for layering. I absolutely love the detail of this necklace. It's so cute. This is the Baguette Stone Ring in Emerald. It is so beautiful, a great little statement ring if you wanna pop that on. I love this. This is the Link Chain Bracelet. It'll look really cute layered um, with my bracelet that I have on right now and some others. And then these are the famous double huggy chain earrings, which I'm really excited about because I do have my double piercing and I think these are gonna look so cool. I kinda wanna try them on right now and put them on because these are just so dope. I just put the earrings in because I was so excited and I am obsessed with the look. I'm gonna put them in the other ear as well. It's so chic and like good for like casual. Like I can totally spin in this. This is awesome. All right, you guys, I am so excited about this package from Rockin' Rags. They have the coolest stuff. I found them on Instagram. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. 
Um, so I'll obviously put these on later, but I just had to show you guys like this is so what dope It looks so good on the model too It's just like this different colored top that you can tie on the bottom to tighten it as you please for exposure But I loved the colors exciting for spring and then I got this which I really just needed like like a more um, slim fitting turtleneck that's good for layering or just wearing on its own. I love this like taupe color and the ribbed of it all and it's a little cropped. This is so cute. I love this new trend of the exposed seams. I think it looks awesome. Um, and this is just a high neck top. I think this is gonna look great with jeans. It's just black and white, very cool. Similar to this like open exposure as well. And then this is just a great basic to have, but it's got this ruching detailing. It's just like a black long sleeve top, but I just love how it's like a little V-neck, looks very flattering. Very excited about these pieces. And it came with this sticker, which I love just like piling stickers on my laptop. So I'm probably gonna put this one on. It says, if you're watching this, you're stronger than you know. I love this. All right, guys, I just laid in bed and watched some TikToks just to pass the time, but um, <laughs> TikTok just makes me giggle, and that's just that on that. I have, I can confidently say, ooh, this purse is so loud. I can confidently say I have not spun since last year, and that's not an exaggeration at this hour. Um, this is a great angle. <laughs> So yeah, this is gonna be really, really, really funny. I'm very excited. I don't even know who's teaching today. Delaney, you wanna come to spin? All good. Delaney just shower and so she, it's her excuse to not come. You said forever not I drive alone past your street. Woo, Marie. Um, all I've eaten today is breakfast and it's now it's four o'clock so I'm kinda like, but I'm not really hungry. I just eat some break. Well, you guys, that was absolutely amazing. It just put me in the best, best mood ever, and I saw everybody there. I haven't been back to Rivello since the new year, so it's really nice to see everybody. I love them. Feeling very motivated, just ready to get after it. I'm hungry. I'm already like hungry for dinner, probably because I didn't have lunch. So I'm trying to check in with the good old Rumi and see what her vibes are. I already took it out of the packaging because I stormed in so hungry, but I'm making some Trader Joe's bean and rice burritos. Also, the sunset's so like, ugh. So I just made the very iconic decision, if you will. Okay, I fixed my bathroom door, which is hype because it was squeaking, but now it just like stays open, which isn't, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna eat my burrito in the bath. That just sounds amazing. And I have this candle that I got specifically to take baths with. It's called Restore and it has like spa scents, but I need to get this bath going. Got this stuff at Ulta a while back. It smells amazing and it's just like bath salts. Look how gorgeous. I just put about like, put about this much in. I mean, tell me this is not heavenly. I mean, this is a win in my book. All right, well that was amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. Gonna have a little kombucha moment while I do my skincare. Gonna do a little skincare. I got this thing off of Amazon. It's on my Amazon shop that's always linked down below. But this is amazing. Gonna start off with spraying my face with this Ojai Matcha Serum. And then I'm going to moisturize with this Tatcha Water Cream. Or no, the Dewy Skin Cream. My bad. And then we're gonna brush our teeth. I just got this new toothpaste in hopes that it helps get my teeth a little bit whiter. Um, <laughs> I also have to use this like fluoride prescription toothpaste. I know I sound really lame, but you know, and also I want to try out these, uh, white strips. So lots of things to do here. Not going to do that tonight though. So we're doing this, this, oh, and then probably a little lip balm moment. Pretty simple, but I thought I'd show you guys. Watching Imposters for the second time. It's my new show that I'm just going to like watch while I do stuff since Gossip Girl isn't on Netflix anymore on this sweat set the bucks games on soon so we're gonna watch that but for now i'm just chilling
All right, guys, here's my little fit for the night. Um, I'm coming back, but I'm just going to go watch the Bucks game with Ryan because the Bucks are in the playoffs and it's so exciting. So I'm wearing my Bucks hat. It's from Lids. It's like an old vintage, um, their old vintage colors and stuff. Then this set is from Hotel Rocks and I'm wearing my Air Force ones. Go Bucks! I hope they win. Guys, you guys, I swear this hat is good luck or something. The Bucks won! I am so happy, you guys. Like, I haven't been into NFL very much because obviously my team's the Bucks and they have not been doing well. It was really exciting to see them literally beat the Saints. I'm sorry if you guys are Saints fans, but I'm so excited because then we just have one more game and then if we win that, we're going to the Super Bowl. Now Delaney and I are gonna continue watching TV and we're gonna watch episode eight of Bridgerton, which means after tonight, we will be done with it, but I would rewatch it honestly. Like it is so good. So we're just getting cozy and we're gonna watch that. And then I also need to read because I'm being on Kenzie's podcast, um, the book club portion, and I need to finish that book. I'm like halfway through, so, but I need to finish that. Put on my fancy jammies to watch Bridgerton and only felt proper, if you will. Um, yeah, these are from The Daily Sleeper or The Sleeper on Instagram. I got them for Christmas. I love the little bottoms. I can wear them here because when I wore them at home, Finley loved them. I miss Finley. I just got so sad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go watch Bridgerton. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Go oh. Connection. Oh, not the time. Not the time. I really cannot wait to find out who Lady Whistledown is. Apparently, a lot of people knew who it was the whole time. I still don't even have a clue as to who it is, so we'll see. All right, you guys, we just finished Bridgerton, and you know, I'm not gonna ruin it because I hate when people do that. I will say it almost felt as if Lady Whistledown was so obvious that I just kind of dismissed this person. So it's done, I cried. So many scenes in that last episode were so good. and I just feel empty inside because I'm done with it. Well, yeah, it's a sad moment. Delaney and I still have yet to finish A Teacher, which is a series that we started and love. And then we also, oh, The Stranger, but she's already finished it, so she's just gonna watch it with me. That's what I do best. <laughs> what she does best. But yeah, I'm post Bridgerton Blues. She got the post Bridgerton Blues. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me wanna expand my vocabulary. Got a full icy hydro flask right there. Going to do some reading. And yeah, I'm gonna head to bed. All right guys, that is a wrap for my weekend in my life. Tomorrow we do have off, but I think I'm gonna start a week in my life tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. Let me know if you guys are liking these weekly and weekend vlogs. And I'll see you guys next time for our next video. Bye-bye.